is the true picture of our homeschool days. You guys only got the edited out looking perfect days. We're just having a snack right now, so that's really what our table looks like after. Um, can I um, go to Kale's? No. Why? Because. Uh... We did have our living room clean this morning. Yeah, Eli's doing his school right now. Yeah, we did a, the kids did a pumpkin, a pumpkin puppet show, and I'll have that up later. Okay, for one. It's for the Bible belts. Yeah. Which you can't see. Until we're done with the one. So, this is usually how our day goes. Are you going to start school today? No. Can you put that animal away? The cool. twins didn't start yet. Mickey. Our laundry that needs to be folded. You gonna Mickey. fold all the laundry? Mickey yes. ah. Declan not feeling so good, oh, right? Yeah. Getting over a cold. Ah. Or just starting, I should say, for you. Ah. Evelyn trying to do everything that the boys are doing. You're gonna fall off there. Yeah. Are you coming to the salad? I can't stand being embarrassed by my fans. Oh my gosh. You don't have any. Mm -hmm. Look, look, kids. It's just doing our Bible verse for our video that the kids made for the puppet show. Going along here and cleaning up. You never know who the best character is. Uh -huh. This kid right here needs a haircut. I have the whole idea of the one of these days. Are you guys done with? Is this Miles's or yours? S H A D. Yeah. Shad. That doesn't sound like a word though. Shad. Evelyn, you want a box? Shads. Shads. Toy ship. So that's his name. Why are boxes things that kids like to play with the most? Right? Well, ever since I was born, we lived in the country of boxes. And you mind You need to do your school. And you mind employed. We need to get your school out too. I'm just gonna pick up while everybody's doing their school. And I'll just take you along with me. Um that over there is the boys are going on a fall retreat this weekend two of them so they need the backpacks not backpacks suitcases so i'm gonna clean up the table while everybody's doing school nash and lachlan usually take over the house with craziness So if anybody wants to know our laundry system, this is usually how it goes. Each kid has their own basket and then we fold it and put it away. Eventually we fold it and put it away. The twins are waiting for me to pull up their school. So we're waiting on that. What do you want? So this is usually how my day is. And we just haven't taped our regular days yet because it hasn't, we haven't been able to just like focus on videotaping yet on just our normal day with homeschooling. But today I'll give you guys a little glimpse of how our days go. Usually they're crazy. Evelyn does her own thing. And then the boys do their school and then I have to Get them to focus, and he's playing with that, so he should be doing school. So I'm giving Evelyn some Orbeez 
to play with. This is their first time playing with them. They're, they start out really, really tiny, and then you put them in water, and they get big and, like, gelatin. And I'll keep an eye on her because she's still not overall trustworthy with not wanting to put it in her mouth. But. And she's sneaky about it. So she's going to do that while I help the kids do their work. What? So she's going to do that. I'm going to get the twins' homework out. So they're, today they are going to work on their number of books. So they both have the same book, and we usually do the same subject for when we pull it out. I'm having issues here. We we made a mess. You're going to work on number six today? Can you count how many cookies are there, Nash? I did the Six. Okay, so you're going to color them and then you're going to write the number six. Should I show you how? It's on. So you start up top, go all the way around and do a circle. And then you trace them and then you have to draw it over here by yourself. That. It says write the name of the author for each book title. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. The tale of, oh, so you would have to know which author goes to each, like Charlotte's Web. Who wrote Charlotte's Web? Who, who wrote The Cat in the Hat? Dr. Seuss. Okay, so that's what you would do. Dr. Seuss? Yep. Capitalized or? The way they have it. Or if this is cursive, then you have to write it in cursive. You're going to have to count these, put the number down below. <coughs> and then you're gonna where's your pencil i'm gonna show you something so if you go one two three four five you'd put the number five there and then you go one two now you're gonna this is what this means it means you're gonna add it together you're gonna figure out how much that is okay and this is the answer one two three four five six seven so five plus seven or five plus two is seven, right? Okay, so that's what you're gonna do down below. The next one. This one? Yep. Well, you're gonna start out with this one first. You always work from that side to the other side. I don't know how to. Do you have to count how many are here. How many one, are here? Two. So put two there. I don't know. I can do it. Yeah, he did number six also. There's its number sixes. Okay, so two plus three is what? Two plus three. Two plus three. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay, can you write the number five down? Remember the line across, down, and then around? Yep. Okay, do the next one. Miles is reading. These two are still... No. You want to do this page? You have to count how many birthday cakes there are. Okay, six of them. Can you color? Oh, it says color six cakes and circle the cakes with six candles. So we have to find the ones that have six candles. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four. That one doesn't have six candles. Yeah. So you can't do this one. Five, four, five, six, mm -hmm. seven. What, look at the cakes. What one has less candles? Look at them. Do you see it? Yeah. See the one that only has four? It makes yeah. me look like I know what I'm doing. But I have no. absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Next. This one is. Wait, that one. 
this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. Six. Is that fun? Yeah. Oh. So Declan's gonna start with his. Um, he needs help with his book. So H. You have harp, rose, hen, and car. Which one has an H sound? Hen, harp, H. Hen. Hen. Do you have to circle it? Yep. Go sit down. I'll be right with you. Oh, here. Give me them. I can't. I can't make one of these. Okay, then you need to go sit down and wait your turn. Okay, so H, harp, rose, hen, yep, you're right, hen. What about, do you think harp? Is it? Mm hmm Okay, so we have M, the mailbox, zebra, dog, and mask. Shh, shh. Dog. It's a D. D. We want M for mailbox. Um, zebra, z, no, right? Dog, d, mask, mm. Evelyn. Oh boy. So we have P for doll, pie, pan, or table. Doll for p. Oh yeah. Pan. Pan. Pie. P. Pan, pan. Yep. Pie. P. Does it sound like a P? Hi. Yeah. Okay. Does table sound like a t P? Table. T. That's a T. Yeah, that's a T, right? So that's not it. Okay. Go we'll get a different book. Hello. Done with that one. Hello. Hello. Mama. Mama. <coughs> Numbers? No. Okay, I'm gonna work. Oh, good job. You did your sixes. Okay, did you do your sevens? You're gonna do sevens? I have to help Lachlan too with his, but I'm gonna help Declan first. Okay, what number is that? 13. So you need to color in six, 13, fish, trace 13, write 13, and then find 13 things that are the same. Okay? Okay. That you can probably go sit at the table and do by yourself. Yay, my phone! What's the one for, um... Oh. Charlotte's Web. Hello! Oh. Now I just write... Just do it after uh, author. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so to write a seven, Nash and Lachlan are on number seven. To write a seven, you start where this spot is right here. You go over... 
up, up, and down. Okay. Over and down. Your book is going to fall, okay? It's broken. It's broken? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, that's okay. You can still use it. Okay. Now, do you know where to start? Here. Yep. Okay, show you. Give me your pencil or your crayon. You can, um, you can give me a crayon. <clears throat> okay, you start right here, go over and down. So if you do it by yourself, you're going to start here, you go over and down. <laughs> you have to go over, Nash. Nash, you're not, no, no, no. And you can't see with yellow. Go get a different color that you can see with. I did it. Yep. Go over. And then sideways. Um, when you do that, though, can you make your line a little bit longer? Okay, Nash. You start right here. You have to go over. And then down kind of like at an angle. <laughs> I can't even see. You're fine. Now can you my now can my hands there? You gotta go in front of your book. Right here. No no other other side of your crayon. Here? Yeah. Down this way? No, you have to go You have to go this way. Okay, the reason why you're not writing it right is because you're not holding your crayon the right way. You need to go all the way down there. Now do it. Do I do it? Yeah, go over. More. <coughs> go over more. More. Keep going. There, now go down. There you go. Now, uh, you can like hold this side. Okay, he's gonna do, you guys need to focus. Go over. This way? Yeah. There. Now go down. There you go. I don't want to do my ducks. Okay. Can you go with your own? Not own yet. I need yellow. Yellow. What? What are you doing? What? You got cheese? Is that his book? Yep. Huh? Is that his book? What is uh, these? Oh. That's a that's his beak. Oh, what what color is that? Um. Oh. You can do like an orange yeah, or a tan. No, orange. Okay. No. What? Look at this guy. No. You can go back to your spot. Yeah. Evelyn. Evelyn. All right, go back to your spot. Oh, can I sit on the couch? No, you need to go back to your spot. We'll complete the words by choosing an ending diagraph from the pair in parentheses and write it on the line. The words you form should make sense in the sentence. So, have you ever heard of a triathlon? It is a tack or a tough race. Tough. Okay, so you got to put pH there. DH? pH. pH. Right here. GH. Or GH. Why do I always say that? It, because I don't know. Remember what you'd have to do with G's? You do the circle up here and the line goes down. Do it. Do you think you're funny? Okay. Okay. Tough race of swimming. Is it going to have a CK ending or an NG ending? Swimming. NG is a thought, yeah. No.
running and biking. Running. So NG. I hope you guys liked today's video. It was just a typical homeschool day, usually how it goes. Um, a lot of it is just getting all the kids together and getting their school books started, getting chores done. Um, but today I wanted to show you the average day that we usually have for homeschool and the craziness that it looks. And all this, even though our homeschool days can be a little chaotic and a little crazy, most of the times the bigger kids are able to get most of their work done. And uh, then the rest of the afternoon they're able to do whatever they want. But um, sometimes we had to like do lunch and then finish up with our day. So today we were able to get pretty much everything done. Uh, we ended up having to do something after lunch, so we weren't able to finish up everything. But I just wanted to give you guys a, like a sneak peek of just the average day that we we go through with our homeschool. Day. And today you guys saw. Um, a lot of the kids laundry that needed to be folded that didn't get done yet today um a lot of times we just keep it in the baskets and then um eventually we'll take the time to fold it but we needed to do a little bit different with the laundry system because um we were just putting it all in one basket and then we wouldn't get to it and then it ended up not getting done. So this way, each child has their own basket and we're able to grab as as we need. So other than that though, um, I just wanted to kind of show you a glimpse of really what our day looks like. And I kind of showed you uh, in some of our other videos for homeschool how structured it should look, um, but every day isn't gonna be that way. So I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of the other side of having the kids home and that was a little bit of snack time today with homeschool and some of the things that the kids needed help with today um but i just wanted to kind of share the real like real life of our home and all the things that uh, the kids are doing and the twins on how much energy they have during the day when we um, when it's not their turn to homeschool so uh, I just wanted to share a lot of that with you guys. And if you guys like that um, way of us taking or doing our videos is just the more casual side of our homeschool days. Or if you guys are interested in just our daily life, not even homeschooling, um, just the things that we do on a regular day. Um, let me know in the comments below and we'll, you know, maybe not take like all just our fun stuff that we do, but the, um, just our normal day. So like if the kids get up, they'll do their chores and then, um, so their homeschool day or maybe it'll be like a Saturday and they'll do their chores, but then they'll just, you know, be playing. So let me know if you guys want, want more videos like that. Other than that, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.